Good morning. Happy Saturday. I thought I would try to vlog this weekend. I don't know how much on camera time I will have, but I will try to show you everything that I have to eat today. I am on my way to do grocery shopping. I did a little bit yesterday, but I didn't want to do it all. And I have to go to Walmart, pick up some oil for my car. So my husband can change my oil and pick up some makeup stuff. I don't think Ulta is open right now and I am like running low and I still don't, I don't think, I don't think ours is open back up and then finish my grocery shopping so that is what i'm that is what i'm doing oh my goodness i can't even speak it's about nine o'clock um my allergies are still kicking my butt that's i started vlogging on thursday but y'all i just was my i just was not feeling well thursday and friday just with allergies and it, they are just so bad right now i don't know what it is but my like my nose feels like it's like this big but my face is all puffy and everything is terrible i've been trying to drink as much water as i can um i try to kind of clean out everything but geez so speaking of water um i just posted on my facebook group the um challenges for july we're gonna do weekly challenges that's something that christy over at um christy davis does she does these weekly challenges and i thought you know that makes so much more sense than doing daily challenges i really liked the little daily challenges that we've been doing in june which we're still doing that ends june 30th of course and then i'm going to try to go live on friday next friday um to do kind of an update on what i lost for the month and my goals and the winners of the the three winners that we'll have for the challenge um so we'll be doing that on friday uh, but since july kind of starts in the middle of the week i thought we would just start our july challenges on monday as well so the first week is water my goal is going to be to drink a gallon of water every day i've heard great things about people doing that and i'm really because it's so hot right now that I know I'm not getting the water in and we don't have air conditioning in the house and it's just, I just know that I, I've been so thirsty and I just have not been drinking the water. So um, I'm just gonna see, I'm not gonna force myself to drink that much water, but I'm just gonna see what it's like to do it for a week. But basically the first week of July is going to be just the water week, water challenge. So whatever goal you set for yourself, try to meet that every single day and that will be our first challenge of the month. Uh, so if you want to check out the rest of the challenges for the entire month of July, go check out my Facebook group. I'll try to remember to put it up here. I did bring along with me a snack just in case I wanted it. I'm going to go get coffee. Um, this is, I found these last week at my local grocery store. I think I showed you in my last week's grocery haul, the monk pack keto nut and seed, um, one less than a gram of sugar, three net carbs, five grams of protein, 150 calories. They're plant-based, gluten-free. So I think I'm gonna have this if I get hungry, which I think I'm feeling a little bit hungry. I really want something more savory, but I did not have time. Didn't wanna take the time. I have time. I have nothing else to do today except for clean the house. Um, I just didn't wanna take the time to um, make any eggs or anything. I just wanna, I wanna get this done and I wanna, I want, to, yeah, I just want to get this done. <laughs> so I need to go get some coffee. I'm going to go to a local coffee shop and get an Americano with heavy cream and sugar-free vanilla. That is what I'm going to get. I'm going to get iced because it is supposed to be hot again today. Not as hot as yesterday. Yesterday was like 95. It was so hot. <laughs> it was so hot. Um, okay. I'm going to head out and I will talk to you guys when I get my coffee. Okay. I ate my bar. And I got my coffee, so Americano, heavy cream, which I haven't had heavy cream in a while because I've been using nut pods, and sugar-free vanilla. Very good. Um, this was really good. I'm doing that Smash Up review video, and I talked about it in there. One thing that I'll say, it's good, but it didn't remind me as much of a granola bar as I was hoping it would. I think I just miss like the oats and like the the chewiness of a granola bar, but it is definitely really good and I will continue to buy those. For my lunch today, I had one of these um, sandwich things I got from Grocery Outlet with the pepper jack cheese and the salami and then a rain dreamsicle. For dinner, I had a chef salad. I had some cubed up cheese, some lettuce, some bacon, some cucumber, some chopped up ham, some hard boiled eggs, and then I topped that off with some ranch dressing from Ken's um, dressing. 
Happy Sunday. So today I started my day out with some breakfast. I have some scrambled eggs here with some cheese, pepper, avocado, some bacon, and then some coffee with my favorite toasted marshmallow nut pods. Loving these. Time to do some meal prepping. That's what I do on Sundays. I'm using these palmini noodles. I'm going to do some baked spaghetti. So I need some ricotta cheese. I shredded up some mozzarella cheese. I'm using some of this cherry tomato pasta sauce I get from Grocery Outlet, which is absolutely amazing. In my bowl here, I have the ricotta cheese, some of this grated Parmesan cheese, an egg, some Italian seasoning, some red pepper flakes, um, some of the mozzarella cheese, and then I'm just going to stir that all up until it's nice and combined. And in my bowl here, I have some steaming hot ground beef, about a half of a pound that I browned up. Next, you want to add on the palmini noodles, which I did boil for 10 minutes. And then I'm adding in that cheese mixture. And then on top of that, I'm adding on some of the pasta sauce on there. Oh, look at look at that pasta sauce. It is so good. Now you're going to stir this all up until it's nice and combined. Now you can do layers. A lot of baked spaghetti does layers, but I just like to combine it all at once because it's just, I have less patience. So, you know, it's just easier for it to all be mixed up. And then I have my two little ramekins here. Um, I, this actually makes three, but I only have two of these little ramekins that I found randomly around the holidays. So I'll just put the other one away in another container. Topping that off with some of the shredded mozzarella cheese and these are going to go into a 350 degree oven i did mine for 15 minutes next up i'm going to prep some taquitos jalapeno popper to taquitos so i have some mozzarella cheese slices some pickled jalapenos some colby jack cheese and some philadelphia cream cheese these are going to go into a 400 degree oven for four minutes and while those are cooking, we're gonna do our mixture here. So I have four ounces of cream cheese, some shredded Colby Jack, some pickled jalapenos. These are going to microwave for 30 seconds. And then this is what the mozzarella cheese looks like when it comes out. It hardens as it sits there. This is 30 seconds out of the microwave. And then we are going to roll them up. And here is everything all done. Look at that big spaghetti and the taquitos. So good, all ready for the week. For a snack, I'm having one of these uh, Kichu Super Coffees and Mocha. You guys know I love these so much. And then I'm also having the Almond Butter Brownie Perfect Keto Bar, which I really, really enjoyed. I had not had this flavor before, and I loved it. It was really good. So highly recommend this flavor for sure. So that was a, a nice snack that I had. Um, before dinner and for dinner I just made a taco bowl so I have some ground beef with some taco seasoning some shredded lettuce some pico de gallo um, some cheese and some sour cream as always thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video and please subscribe if you have not already done so and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys